Hi friends, in this video, I'll be walking you through my monthly Excel tracker. So let's get straight into it. So this is the main dashboard of the tracker where you can track all your ingoings and outgoings. So on the left-hand side here, we've got the date, but I've also got a drop down here where you can select a different date. Um, so you can adjust it for any period. We've also got the start date and the end date here, which you can manually adjust and edit. We also have a currency field right here, and this is actually dynamic. So whatever currency you put in here, so let's say I put in dollars, then the entire spreadsheet will automatically update. So you just need to edit it once, uh, which is the great thing. Then what we've got here is the cash flow summary. So this will automatically update. So no inputs are required on this particular table. And then whatever inputs we put in our income or bills or expenses, the visual graphs will also automatically update. And so will the top bar right here. So let's go through a bit of a demo to kind of bring this to life. So let's say we've got our income right here. I've got diff different categories on the left hand side and you can literally edit these as you want. So I've got a few different ones here, but you can change that around. And then I've also got this kind of tick or drop down option. So for example, when I receive my paycheck, I can select the drop down and select the tick just so I know that I've actually received the money. Then here we've got an expected column and this is my budget. So this is where you enter all your information around what do you expect to receive in these different categories. And then in the actual column, you can put in your figure. So for example, let's say I expected 4,000, but let's say I received 4,200. And as you can see, this column right here, the difference one, that will also automatically update. And I've also added some conditional formatting. So if it's a positive number, you'll see the screen icon. If it's a neutral figure, so it's, it's the same, then it'll be a amber color. But if it's a negative, or if it's below the expectation, let's change this to 3,800. And this changes to a negative and it's a red icon. So moving through the spreadsheet, I've also got a savings table. So here is where you can add all the different categories for your savings and investments. So I've got a couple of examples here, travel fund, stocks and shares, mutual funds. But again, this is fully customizable and you can edit this to your needs. Then I've got an expected column, same again, the actual and then the difference, same as the income tracker. And then similarly, I've got a bills tracker, which is kind of your mandatory monthly bills, expenses table as well. So this is more kind of your ad hoc food, travel, etc., and then a debt payments tracker as well. So for example, let's do a bit of a demo. So let's say I put in test new, let's say I'm making it up uh, as a new bill. The due date, let's say it's due on the 21st of every month. And again, that's optional. You don't really have to put that in. Then let's say hundred pound, um, whereas the actual reality was 150. As you can see, this conditional formatting will automatically update. And then if you scroll down slightly, let me make this a little bit bigger, the total of all your bills will also automatically be updated. So your expectation was 887 for the month of Jan, but actually you're spending over a thousand pound on your bills. So you're in a negative of 125 in comparison to your budget. And then the same concept applies for expenses and a similar concept for debt. The only difference in the debt one is rather than a difference, there's a progress um, percentage. So for example, let's say I've got a new loan, which is due on the 29th of every month. The loan payment is hundred pound, but in reality, I only paid 80 pound towards it. So I only paid 80% of my actual loan balance. So that will show in red. Whereas if I've paid hundred percent or more, that would automatically show in green, which shows that you're on track to paying off your debt on time. And to bring all of this together, we have a cash flow summary table on the top left hand side. What this table is doing, it's actually totaling all your inputs and giving you a final view. So for example, it's giving you a total income view. So based on all your inputs, then same for savings, same for bills, same for expenses, same for debt. Then the simple calculation this spreadsheet is running it's taking your top income figure and then subtracting all your outgoings, which gives you a total leftover uh, figure right there. So you have a budget and then you also have the actual. And then what this is doing, it's comparing your actual to the expectation. And then it's telling you that in comparison to your budget, you're actually in surplus by 25 pound. And all these inputs of your actuals, they are summarized in this top bar right here. 
So income 8,500, that matches with the table. And then similarly, debt payments 1350, and so on and so forth. And then you get your final net position for the month of January, and then the available to spend. So in this case, it's 25 pound. In addition to that, we also have some graphs. So these graphs are showing different things. So the first one is showing your cash flow summary. So this is literally the above, but in a visual format. So your expectation versus actuals. You've also got a pie chart which shows your outflow breakdown. Um, so for example, where is your money actually going between savings, bills, expenses, and debt? So hopefully in this pie chart, you've got a bigger pie in your savings and the idea is that your bills will be less. And finally, we've got a savings breakdown as well. So based on all of our categories that we went through earlier, this just visually shows where your money is going from a savings and investment point of view. Now, finally, we also have a bonus transactions tab. So in this tab, you can track every single transaction in your statement to the penny. So similar to previously, you've got the date and the currency. So if you change the currency here, we'll automatically update in the tables. And we've also got clickable buttons at the top. So if I just want to see my savings, if I press that, it'll take me to my savings table. And same with bills, straight to my bills table. So the interesting thing here is that, again, you can kind of somewhat customize this. So for example, my paycheck, let's say in January, it was actually 4,000. And I can update that here. And I can also change the category. But there's only one thing to bear in mind here is that the category cannot be manually adjusted here. So for example, if I put new here and press enter, an error message will come up because I haven't declared my category in the main budget tab. So I can only select from whatever I've inputted in the main budget table. So that's one thing to bear in mind. And also these fields right here will not automatically transfer to here. So I would recommend to use the main budget um, tab as your master document. And the transactions tab should just kind of guide you and supplement that process. The other interesting thing here is that, let's say in my income, I just wanted to see my, let's say, bonus. So I'm going to select my um, bonus, press OK. This will automatically update to 50. And again, this is a great way to help you when you're updating your actual figures in the main tab right here. So let's go through another example. Let's select all of them. And then if I go on to, let's say, my bills, and let's say I just want to see my gas. There we go. We've got 150 for the month of Jan for my gas bill. If I want to see everything, then just check everything again. And then as you can see, it's 862. So hopefully that's been useful. If you'd like a copy of this template, then check out the link in the description. And if you also want me to make any videos on any specific formulas I've used in this Excel, then comment down below. I'm more than happy to help. But until next time, don't forget to keep upskilling yourself and a like and a subscribe to the channel would be greatly appreciated. Thank you.